Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we've got our first Crisis on Infinite Earths trailer. I am so excited, beyond excited, to talk about this with you guys. It just popped up, and I was like, damn, I gotta get on the mic and talk about this, because I am so hyped. This trailer actually is very short, but it shows so much. They fast-forwarded a lot of it, so I've paused it, and maybe I've got some stuff that you missed out, some very, very exciting reveals in this trailer. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Crisis videos as we head towards December 8th, when the first episode is coming out. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this. So... The first shot of the trailer, and by the way, the trailer's not like full like width, it's actually for their social media, that's where they released it. But I got it from Legends Universe, so he made it full screen, you know, so it all works out nicely. Anyway, so the first shot of the trailer, we get to see the monitor. He's obviously had a haircut, doesn't have the mutton chops or anything like that, so that's a big difference with his appearance. At first I was sort of looking and I was like, hmm, he looks a little bit different, but then I realised, oh, he doesn't have those massive mutton chops on his side but he's still got the same suit same hairstyle everything the same going on here the lighting is very green it seems like they're in some sort of like hole in the ground like because there's all rubble around them and everything like that and then it like i said a lot of it's like sped up it's in fast motion so we pull out and then you got this screenshot right here you you know and it seems like he's by himself but he's facing off against people and who is he facing off against we got this shot right here. Okay, so this is really exciting. We've got the return of Lex Luthor. The first time I watched the trailer, when I watched it in normal motion, I did not see it because it was so fast and it was so sped up. So I'm guessing maybe some of you missed out on that. But Lex Luthor is teaming up with our superheroes. That's what we theorized and that's what's happening. Look at him right here. He's in his suit. He's all alive and well. Like I said, there's a massive pile of rubble behind them. So some sort of battle's gone on. And so who's standing next to him on the right? I actually can't tell. Maybe it's a new character. We've been told there is more cameos that we don't know about. So I can't actually pin it down from just this specific shot. Who is that guy? But we got Supergirl in her Supergirl suit. She's standing next to Lex. That's a big thing, obviously, them teaming up because, you know, they are enemies. So the Flash is next to Supergirl. We've got White Canary. We haven't seen White Canary in a long time because... Obviously, Legends is not back till we get past these three Crisis episodes. And then, obviously, Legends, I think his first episode's actually Crisis, which is really intriguing. But also, on the left of her, we have Jean. You can barely see him, but he is there. So that's really exciting. I think that's the most exciting shot of the trailer because that reveals Lex Luthor is back and he's teaming up with them. And so, like I said, it's all fast motion. So I paused on this bit. You get to see Supergirl, The Flash and White Canary, they're all next to each other. Just a very nice shot as we go in towards the Flash, and it seems like some sort of light hits him on the side, so I don't know, maybe something's going on in the air, maybe this is, you know, part of the aftermath of a, you know, massive battle going on, but it does seem like they are actually confronting the Monitor, which is really intriguing, because obviously there's been those theories going around that the Monitor may be the anti-Monitor, he may be bad, but I don't think that is actually like a true thing. Anyway, so then we move on to the next shot and I could be wrong, but this does look like a new shot. However, it is very similar to what happened to Earth 2 to the people because I think one of them held the hand out. So it could be a repeated shot from Arrow's first episode of the season, but I could be wrong about that. And this could be actually someone else dying. I think more likely than not it's a new shot because we're going to see a lot of different shots where people are dying like this like they did because of the antimatter going around. So I'm guessing maybe this is a new shot. And then we get our reveal that Black Lightning obviously is in the crossover, we know that. But this is our first look at him, he's in his suit, he's got his goggles on, he is fighting, he is sort of really angry, you know, blasting his lightning out of his hands. And I can't really tell where he is. It does look like maybe he's at a similar place. You know, it seems like there's some sort of thing going on in the background. So maybe it's some rubble or something like that. But it's all out of focus. So you can't really tell as of right now. But yeah, Black Lightning, he's in this crossover. Super, super exciting stuff. Okay, let's move on. So we've got our first look, our first moving look at Brandon Ralph as Superman, the Kingdom Come version of himself, so he's got a bit of grey hair going on, 
you can obviously see he's in this Kingdom Come suit, which is very similar to the comics. Super, super excited for this, specifically. And also, this is in the Wave Rider, so he's going to be with the Legends. I'm not sure how much of the crossover he's going to be in, but Mark Guggenheim has actually said there is going to be a couple of shots where we have all three versions of Superman in it. And so that is Tom Welling, Brandon Ralph, and Tyler Hoechlin. So obviously Tyler's going to play, I'm guessing, a pretty big role, considering, you know, he's getting his new show pretty soon with Lois Lane. Obviously Elizabeth Tullock as well, she's going to be in this crossover. Apparently she's going to have a lot of stuff with Iris, which is very exciting, so with Candace. But anyway, so going back to this, he's in the Wave Rider. He's obviously talking to someone, he seems to be concentrating pretty hard. So, yeah, very exciting. Let's move on to the next shot. We've got Mia Smoke, which is exciting to see her team up with everyone and being a big part of this crossover. She's with her dad, obviously Oliver Queen. He's in his Green Arrow suit. And we've got Batwoman as well. So Batwoman is reuniting with all our characters. And Oliver in this scene says suit up, which is very, very awesome. So they are wading through a pile of rubble. You can see, like stones on the ground you know that have been chopped up from the earth so maybe this is a fight with the anti-monitor maybe this is sort of them you know going after him i guess but anyway so that is the final shot of the trailer and then as we go to the end of the trailer we've got the new intro and so in this intro we get to see in the background all of our heroes or whatever you want to call the monitor in the letters so the first bit of it we have an arrow going across obviously fired by green arrows so that goes across you see the monitor in the background then we got the batarang of batwoman going across very dark maroon you can see batwoman in the background the crisis letters are going back into their you know place that they're gonna go to you know i guess ending off the intro or like the outro to these trailers that you're gonna see week by week also, we have the Wave Rider going across with various effects of Supergirl and the Flash. I think there's some lightning every now and again. And we've got this final look at the logo. So this is Crisis on Infinite Earths, the five episode crossover. So in the letter C, we've got White Canary. I think that is a shot that has been used in the past. I definitely know in the R, the Flash shot was from, I believe it was episode one. It could have been episode two this season, but definitely I recognize that. Also the monitor. That is from Elseworlds, he's in the letter I, obviously in the center, which is kind of fitting. Also Supergirl's in the center, and this could be an old shot, or it could be a new shot. I could be wrong about that, but we'll have to wait and see if that's actually in the crossover. I'm not so sure about Batwoman, and in the S, it's not Oliver, it's in fact a green arrow. And so, if you look down, it says, Crisis on Infinite Earths, 5 episode crossover, begins Sunday, December 8th. What does it begin with? It begins with Supergirl, Sunday, December 8th at 8, 7 central on the CW. So Supergirl starting off on Sunday. Then the next day, December 9th, we've got Batwoman. And then the day after that, we've got The Flash, December 10th on the Tuesday at its normal time slot, 8, 7 central. And then after this, we're going to go on break for the mid-season and we won't return with the final two Crisis episodes until the two-part finale with Arrow on Tuesday, January 14th at 8, 7 central, followed by Tuesday, January 14th at 9, 8 central, Legends of Tomorrow. That is going to be Legends' return episode as well. As far as I know, you can correct me if I'm wrong, if there's maybe one episode before, but I'm fairly certain that is the first episode of Legends Season 5 Super exciting stuff, I can't wait to talk about more of this with you guys. Very exciting to see Lex Luthor teaming up with everyone. He's in the trailer, we get to see our first look at Superman, you know, the Brandon Ralph version. We've got the Monitor, you know, without the mutton chops. We've got this mysterious new character, a potential death. Man, what a trailer. Very short, we're going to get some longer ones very, very soon. Also some photos, Mark Guggenheim has also teased there's going to be some posters being released very, very soon some properly designed posters not just character ones so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to subscribe turn on notifications to not miss any crisis videos i upload videos daily for all of you guys who are new so please be sure to stick around and i'll catch you guys later goodbye
Icy Road.